of private independent and articulate school executives NIAPSE, an association of private school owners in nigeria recently highlighted the importance of sharing ideas to drive the future development of education in the country the organization was officially inaugurated in the ogijo area of Ogun state over the weekend a key topic discussed during the event was the issue of multiple taxation on private school owners by various government agencies. The group voiced concerns about the financial burden that this issue places on schools, promising to advocate for fairer taxation policies. NIAPSE's president and vice, Dr. Tokpe Daniel Adeni Martins and Desmond Ayeleso, respectively emphasized the association's mission to address these taxation challenges, stating that the organization was created not to compete with existing associations, but to strengthen the private education sector. They stressed the need for government to reconsider and reduce these taxes to ensure sustainable growth and improvement in education quality. We did this with every sense of respect and humility because of NAPSI, a school owner's association, one of the school owners, as, as well as is one of the foremost associations in Nigeria. I have answered the call to this service service because I am not alone in this quest to serve the private school owners. Distinguished guests of great nursing, Please permit me to say that, having conducted myself online, on social media, as a lead team and double as national president since 2021, we decided not to contravene the law of the land. We waited patiently until we are above the legal, I mean, we are above to be legally registered as a corporate body by the Corporate Affairs Commission in this year, 2024. Hence, this inaugural and upgrading and meet and great program that is the public presentation of our dear association. We therefore continue to solicit for your on, on alloy support efforts and contribution by introducing more school owners to join NAPSE because this association NAPSE is yours and is ours. Great occasion of the public presentation of network of private independent and articulate school executives NAPSE to the private school owners and the general public. For more than two years now, NAPSE was considered to be the best online service private school owners association in Nigeria. NAPSE has been at the front line, touching the lives of the less privileged schools with needed materials, advice, motivational messages, and trainings, especially online, through support and donations free of charge. As regards multiple taxation, if you ask every school owners, they have a lot of stories, ugly and gory stories, to talk about it. Uh, we at, at NAPSE, we have decided to be, act as a pressure group on the government to remodify and expunge some unnecessary taxes that is killing schools because schools are normal and statutory responsibilities of the government but unfortunately the government cannot handle all that's the reason for private schools and we that we are helping the government to do their responsibility properly we shouldn't at the same time be burdened to in, in helping the government and that's the reason we're going to be a pressure group on the government to re-examine and realign its activities especially in the area of time NIAPSE aims to provide a collaborative network that offers professional development, best practices, and a platform for idea sharing among private school proprietors across Nigeria. According to its leadership, the association upholds values of independent thinking, diversity, 
inclusivity, leadership in change, and community empowerment. There are policies that are principles. The idea of double promotion is not all about policy, it's about principle. The essence of it is to encourage. I remember when I was in the primary school, I enjoyed it. And that was back then in the 70s. I enjoyed it, but not the way it is being practiced now. I wasn't meant to skip a whole class. You are only promoted at the end of the first term. If you are so brilliant and you are able to make a very good grade, and there's always a standard, it's either you come first, second, or third. If you are beyond, beyond all those grades, you will remain in that class. And sometimes they conduct tests. To see the best. So, if we are to promote at all using that standard, it should only be done at the end of every I mean, every time, and it should be faster, so that that person who miss a practice in the next class, if he or she is to join the next class, he or she will have to join in the second time and second time. And you can be sure the little he or she must at least in the first time of that class, he can always repeat. This building has been laid. Every child's foundation has been laid from conception. Who is the mother? Who is the husband? What do they bring out from that marriage? It's what is important. If the foundation is well laid, forget about the school that your child is. But when it's not well laid, you now start putting the blame on the school, on the teacher. It is not. When somebody who is uh, going around selling a uh, uh, I go in the room or whatever call, call those people. And the mechanic and all that. And you see a child and say the teacher must change that child and all that. No. Somebody can be working uh, all those apps. And not very, maybe the mechanic can also be the father. It doesn't mean that okay, maybe that child will be a perfume or will not do anything. We can't stop mothers from trying to do what they want to do, especially if they married. You know, stingy men that will not release money for other things. I only want to pay school fees. <laughs> okay. So, one thing the school can do is to encourage or promote open communication. If information is going to both father and mother at the same time, it is almost impossible for that information to be twatted. Most times, schools that have WhatsApp groups or have a form of online platform where they, where they communicate with parents, they only are okay with the you know, one parent's phone number being added to the group. Sometimes it's important to have both parents receive information at the same time. That way, you know, everything is clear and it's open. Another challenge may be that a mother may come and pay the school fees because the father has not paid. And then we'll now be looking for ways to hide it in the school so that the father can still release the money. Now, I want to encourage that if a a woman, you know, should come to you as a school owner or proprietor. I think you should educate her. The job of the, uh, the job of raising children is shouldn't just be placed on the man alone. Professor Shola Aleton of the Department of Educational Development from the University of Lagos, who spoke at the event, described Nyamse as a catalyst for progress within the educational landscape with the potential to drive significant improvements through collaboration and shared expertise.